Firstly, it is very important to understand that developing time of correctly mixed chemistry is very dependent on the temperature. Most solutions are used between 20 degrees centigrade and 25 degrees centigrade. Follow the instructions provided with your developer to ensure the chemistry is used both at the right concentration and at the right temperature. Our developers are supplied in hand applicators or in powder or liquid form. The prepared developer solution can be used in a tray, but best of all, in one of our temperature controlled PCB processing tanks. A PA310 tri-tank with a developing tank, a spray wash tank and an etching tank is shown in this video. When using a tank, place the board in the mesh basket of the PCB board holder and lower this into the developer. You can inspect it after 15 seconds, but with fresh developer, you should find the image fully developed in approximately 30 seconds. At this point, the PCB and board holder should be immediately placed in the spray wash tank and the switch turned on to operate the spray wash water. This will remove excess chemistry and stop the developing process. After washing, if you find not all the photoresist has been removed, place the board back in the developing tank for a few more seconds and then spray wash again. Here's a tip. If you are still not sure that the resist has all been developed away, place the board in the etching tank for 10 seconds, then remove and spray wash. If all the copper has turned to a dull pink, then it is properly developed. However, if there are shiny gold colored areas, these are unwanted photoresist which needs further developing. Important, make sure you are wearing protective gloves, coat and goggles. Carefully lift up the lid from the etching tank and place the board in the mesh basket. Replace the lid and turn on the air pump switch. After two and a half minutes, turn off the pump, carefully lift the lid again and turn the board over 180 degrees so that the top side is now in the bottom of the basket. Then turn on the air pump again for a further two and a half minutes. Now turn off the pump and again carefully lift the lid and examine the board. It should now be fully etched. If there are any copper areas still to be etched, replace the lid, turn on the pump for a further one to two minutes and check the board again. When the board is fully etched, Remove it and wash it thoroughly in water. Here's a tip. With a fresh solution and by rotating the board, the etching time at 45 degrees C will be 5 to 6 minutes. However, as more boards are etched in the solution, this time will gradually increase. An alternative to the PA310 tri-tank is the Rotor Spray Plus. It still performs the same processes of developing and spray washing, but the key addition is a spray etching tank. The board is placed in a board holder and lowered into the developing tank. The image is then washed and inspected, and if necessary, placed back in the developer for a few more seconds before being washed again. When fully developed, the board holder is lowered into the spray etching tank. The lid is closed and the start button pressed. With fresh etchant, a board will be fully etched in just 90 seconds and the whole process can be viewed through the clear sides of the tank. At the end of the cycle, the spray column turns off and the etched board can be viewed while it's still in the tank. The board holder is then raised allowing any excess etchant to drain back into the tank before it is spray washed. The etched board can then be inspected. Spray etching is not only fast, it is generally much more efficient than bubble etching, 
and therefore offers the opportunity to reduce the failure rate and provide high resolution circuits. MEGA offers many different PCB drilling solutions, including CNC machines. It is important to choose a drill and stand that are specifically designed for PCBs. And for good quality drill holes, you should only use tungsten carbide drill bits. Illustrated here, we will see one of our manual drilling machines being used. Place the etched board on the drill stand base. Lock the drill in the spindle so that it is 3 to 4 millimeters above the board. Adjust the magnifying glass angle to suit. Switch on the drill and set the speed to maximum. Move each pad center under the drill bit and slowly bring the drill bit to just above the pad. Check the alignment and then with even pressure push the handle down so that the drill bit goes through the board and then lift the handle up again. To avoid drill breakages, make sure the board does not move while the drill bit is entering and exiting the board. Drill the holes, changing the drill bits as required. Here's a tip. To save time and mistakes, try to minimize the number of drill changes you have to make. Most designs should only use a maximum of five drill sizes.